podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Most people in Durham have heard of the Eno River, but much of the water that falls in the urban parts of Durham ends up in little-known Ellerbee Creek. That creek eventually flows into Falls Lake, the drinking water supply for Raleigh. One Durham-based organization is protecting the creek's water quality and nearby watershed, and not just for Raleigh's benefit. Dr. Tom Linden from the UNC School of Journalism and Mass Communication reports in the final segment of a three-part series on environmental heroes. The county and upper use clean water. Executive Director Diana Tetton says the mission of the Ellerby Creek Watershed Association is to clean up what she calls the dirtiest stream entering Falls Lake, north of Durham. That stream is Ellerby Creek. It flows into Falls Lake, which is Raleigh's drinking water, drinking water for 425,000 people. So it's very important to protect for that reason. And the entire site is rated as critical to protecting water quality. Ellerby Creek begins near Lake Swannanoa, half a mile from I-85 on the western edge of Durham. It then flows north of downtown Durham before reaching Falls Lake. The state calls Ellerby Creek an impaired stream. <sighs> Trash litters the river. Oh, that stinks. What you got there, Mike? A heavy television set. Sediment and pollution taint its waters. That bothers NC State Professor Kathy Baratan, member of the Ellerby Creek Watershed Association Board. You go walk along the bank of Ellerby Creek and you see these big pipes in the bank of the creek where every time it rains, the water flows straight from the asphalt into the pipe and dumps into the creek with all the trash, with all the stuff out of that parking lot. Like most urban waterways, Ellerby Creek drains a heavily paved landscape. Instead of being absorbed by the land, water, polluted with fertilizers, oil, and other substances, flows directly into the creek, draining most of downtown Durham and nearby neighborhoods. From Lake Swannanoa, the creek runs north of downtown through four watershed preserves before heading east to Falls Lake. But natural areas like a beaver marsh near the site of a large strip mall just off Roxborough Street can help improve water quality. This is the one place that because it's a spring-fed pond and the beavers are here and all like that, where there's actually clean water flowing into the stream. And so we want to highlight this as an example of, of how wetlands and vegetated swales and things like that um, can have a real positive impact on the water quality in Falls Lake. Ellerby Creek's water quality wasn't always the main concern. In 1961, the Army Corps of Engineers straightened and channeled the creek to control flooding. The result? Water now speeds down man-made channels, eroding banks, and increasing sediment that chokes off aquatic life. It turned out to be not a very good strategy, and in fact, um, has increased the flooding and increased the velocity of the water coming down streams. We're having what's called massive bank failure. The bank is just slumping into the stream and then that soil and sediment is getting carried down to Falls Lake. But even with erosion and pollution, the creek still attracts nature lovers. High school biology student Rashad Trice first came to an Ellerby Creek watershed preserve on a field trip in 2008. It's just a nice environment and never knew places like this was in Durham until I went to the field trip with Ellerby Creek Association and I really thank them for that. The organization founded its first preserve, 17 Acre Wood, nearly 10 years ago. Nearby resident and board member Larry Brockman has long been active with the organization. What I enjoy most about working with the Ellerby Creek Watershed Association is the opportunity to get uh, people into nature close to their homes. It's great to be able to, to get uh, people who have lived in Durham or maybe been around Durham for a long time and don't even realize the beauty that's in their own backyard. Joanne Abel lives near the Pearl Mill Preserve, three blocks from downtown Durham. One of the, the beauties of this kind of park is it can be a preserve, can be a real organizing tool to organize people in the community. We have a cleanup. You really get to know someone when you're standing, you know, hip deep in the muck pulling a sofa out of the creek. So it's a real good way of community building, I think. Ah, there we go. 
Besides cleaning up the creek, the association wants to preserve green spaces that border the stream. So that will really open up the um, environment and outdoor experience to everyone in the city and sort of have a green necklace to, from inner city Durham all the way out to the Falls Lake. Our goal is to make the stream a living stream, a living system, and an asset for the citizens of Durham, and to increase the connection between the stream and its environment and the people who live here. About seven miles downstream of Durham City Center is another preserve, Glenstone, which adjoins a new subdivision. Just upstream from us is a, one of the largest uh, heron rookeries, nesting areas, in the Piedmont. We've had the opportunity to make that uh, heron rookie accessible to people. Even you look around here in the lower part of the watershed, you'll find trash, plastic bottles that have made their way down uh, to this part of the watershed, eventually going into the Falls Lake. From its northern arm, Falls Lake extends about 25 miles to Raleigh's main water purification plant. The plant treats 47 million gallons of water a day, some of which flow from Ellerbee Creek's polluted runoff. The best way to deal with that kind of pollution isn't to do water purification plants, which are extremely expensive. It's to put in more little ponds and vegetated swales and rain gardens that function like a beaver pond, where the plants clean the water up like a filter before it ever gets to the stream. By focusing attention on the creek's water quality and its beauty, the association hopes to draw local residents to its cause. Even within this urban setting, we see an, a, a really a wide variety of, uh, of, of not only plants, native plants, but some of the animals that people really love to get out and see. It's really the citizens who live nearby and the citizens of Durham who make all, everything we do possible. This little stream that flows through an urban landscape has united people from different backgrounds. Working together, they're protecting and restoring natural wonders that can thrive if given the chance. The Ellerbury Creek Watershed Association is looking to preserve another large area of land just downstream of their Glenstone Preserve. The association is also celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. This series on environmental heroes was produced by students from the School of Journalism and Mass Communication at UNC Chapel Hill. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNC-TV.